Hi, my name's Adrian Rollins. Welcome to AMA TV. Today we're talking with Dr. Steve Hamilton, AMA President. Dr. Hamilton, in 2014, the health debate started off with a bang. One of the big issues has been the idea that uh, patients could be charged a co-payment for access to GP services. This is still an, an idea from a think tank, not a for, not ha hasn't been adopted by the government as policy. But what's the AMA's view on this idea? Well, in fact, the, the conversations that have been had publicly are extraordinary. This is a proposal from a think tank to the Commission of Audit, not government policy. Um, it's uh, yet to be considered by government. Certainly the AMA has concerns about this. Uh, we know that uh, there are already people in our population that uh, choose not to get services based on cost. Uh, we know that people choose which medication to have on which month. So even a $5 co-payment will impact on people's decisions. And the majority of GPs in this country actually uh, bulk bill, they, charge, they don't charge a co-payment. And so there will be an impact. And the question is, what does that impact mean? The AMA is very interested to be in this conversation and be part of this process. But at the moment, there isn't a venue for that because this is not a government proposal. Uh, but we are very interested in the outcome of the, of the Senate inquiry into, the, into how our input might best be put. Mm -hmm. And so we've made those views very clear and uh, we will be very keen to be part of that discussion. Now, of course, if you do put a co-payment on GP services and it then diverts people to ambulance, which is very expensive, or emergency department, which is very expensive, you don't make the savings that are proposed for, for the budget. I guess if we step back a little and say why would you do that in the first place, we, are, we do have pressure on our health system, we do need to spend money wisely, we do need to make sure that we make right decisions and we set ourselves up for the future, but really is this solving the major problem that we've got? And the major problem we've got is increased services per person because they've got more illness and there is an ageing population. A mandatory co-payment for general practice, is that really what we want? Now, there are consequential changes behind that that really haven't been discussed and that is a freeze on the rebate that would go along with that over the next five years. Uh, basically, instead of dropping the rebate by five dollars, you would do that over a five-year period. Now that's a big impact on, uh, on practitioners that bulk bill because it's already been mooted that if this came forward you'd have the option to charge it or not putting further pressure on GP services. So that's a, that's a concern for the AMA. But whichever way it goes, AMA wants to be involved in that decision before it's made by government. So Steve, there seems to be a broader discussion about Medicare underway in the community. Obviously the government is concerned about cost issues to do with uh, the provision of Medicare services. So what's the AMA's concerns about this and what, how would the AMA like to see the debate unfold? Look, the AMA really has started the thinking on this already. In uh, our presentation to the press club last year, we recognised that uh, healthcare costs were rising, that we do need to actually look at effective use of the resources that we've got. Uh, we actually flagged that the, the main reason for the rise in healthcare costs was the increasing ability to treat more and more conditions and the more le higher levels of chronic disease. We do want to be involved in a conversation about how we fund our health system. At the moment we're, we're uh, about the average of the OECD countries with, with the GDP spend just over 9% and we as a first world country can afford to spend more but ultimately we need to decide what the population wants to spend on health. We want to be part of that conversation. At the moment we're very focused that uh, fee-for-service is the right solution for Australia. Uh, we do need to, to, to actually look at improving certain aspects of how that's delivered and we've got a proposal for chronic disease item numbers for GPs. We know that team-based general practice-led care is going to be more efficient. We need to make 2014 and beyond the years of the general practice and the general practitioner who should take a lead in actually preventing some of that, uh, those health consequences and those expensive health things from reaching public hospitals. You know, we, need the, we know the drivers of our, our, our problems are non-communicable diseases, uh, tobacco, alcohol, uh, over-nutrition, under-exercise. All of these things need to be tackled. Uh, we certainly are focused that fee for service is right for Australia, so we do need to be part of that conversation about uh, how we arrange services in this country, whether Medicare is changed or modified, 
uh, but we still see fee-for-service as being the major focus and the major way we should fund health in this country. That guarantees the doctor is actually working on behalf of the patient sitting in front of them. That's very important to us.